I need to put on a song. I used to look into my father's eyes. See, heaven's got a plan for you. I am the hostess with the most dance. Focus on me, focus on me. Hello and welcome to Vegan Region. My name is V. I love a lot of vegan things, but mainly food. Okay, so for this week's video, I thought I would share my week of Waitrose dinners. You heard me, I said what I said, I went to Waitrose and I got bougie, I got fancy, I got bored, you know, of the food that I was eating and I thought I need something to shake it up. I haven't really paid that much attention to Waitrose's vegan food, so now's the perfect time because I'm not spending my money on anything else other than food. I am going to be sharing the five meals that I had, I don't know why I'm doing this. These are gold. I'm going to be sharing the five meals that I had from Waitrose. I've also got a couple of snacks to share with you guys too. Before I start off the video, I just want to say I'm by no means saying that if you're vegan, you need to be shopping at Waitrose and that's the only way. Like, no, that's definitely not what I'm saying. I just wanted to share the different Waitrose meals with you guys, just in case any of you were wondering what Waitrose has to offer, but weren't sure whether you should spend your money on it or not. If you see me looking down as I was eating, I was like, Mm, the, the depth and flavor here. No, that's a lie because I'm not a chef, but I was writing notes, so I'm looking down just in case you were wondering. Let's get started. So the first two dishes I'm going to be talking about is the carbonara and the mac and greens. You'll see two plates here because I live with my boyfriend. He had mac and greens and I had carbonara. It's creamy and it's filling and I didn't think it was going to fill me up, but it did. I'm not gonna lie, when I first opened up that package of that carbonara, I was like, I'm gonna need a whole nother meal after eating this pasta because it looks so little, but don't be deceived, it is actually quite filling. And my boyfriend said the same thing about the mac and greens. The mac and greens, I have had once before. They must have changed the recipe or something because if you know vegan cheese, you know what I'm talking about. There is that sort of vegan cheese smell. It's not as bad as it was originally when they first came out with the mac and greens. Maybe my taste palette has just changed. The carbonara dish I've had before and I do remember it being just as delicious. I think it's a really good creamy sauce and it doesn't have have that necessary like overwhelming sort of um, vegan cheese flavor. It's still there a little bit, but it's not as like whoop in your face as some of the vegan cheeses are. I would opt for the carbonara before I opt for the mac and greens, but that's just my personal preference. The next thing that I'm going to be talking about is the pizza. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you guys, I can't remember the name of this pizza, but I'll put it up on the screen and I'll put the price up as well. Oh my goodness, this pizza, let's, for, I don't even know where to begin, okay? The size, excellent. I don't remember finishing it all in one go, so it was really, really filling. So the size, I was pleased with. But what I wasn't pleased with was the cheese. Where is the cheese? Seriously. Girl. <laughs> And the sausage slices, they definitely could have been a bit more generous with the cheese and definitely a bit more generous with those jackfruit sausage slices. I was pleasantly surprised by the taste. I was looking at that pizza and I didn't think it was gonna be bang. Like, I honestly, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think it was. I literally wrote in my notes, I want more cheese and more sausage slices. It does have a little bit of a kick to it though. So if you are into spice, that is definitely something to check out. I would definitely buy it again. Calm down, get it together sister. Guess who got halfway through editing this video and then realized that they had accidentally deleted half of the footage for this video? Me. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Jack Ramsey. So I am back again filling you in on the Waitrose stuff. I'm sorry if the lighting or my position has changed, but I want to get this video out to you guys, so I'm just carrying on from the point that I lost the footage. Let's hope I don't lose this one again. Let's get talking about this chicken fillet. So I had this chicken fillet with some microwave rice, which I ended up adding some vegetables to, just to give me a little bit more crunch and flavor. I really enjoyed this meal. I think I topped it off with some avocado and some hummus, which I will talk about later in the snack portion of this video. I really enjoyed the chicken. It could have offered a little bit more on the flavoring side. In terms of the portion and in terms of the actual thickness of the fillet itself, 
I thought those were really bang on and the flavor of those were really good as well. But I just thought the coating needed a little bit of extra seasoning, if I'm being entirely honest. I just felt like it was just missing that extra kick. And I even wrote down in my notes here that it wouldn't be my first choice. I would actually rather choose the spicy chicken like uh, burgers from corn. If I can find an image of them, I'll just pop them up somewhere here. I definitely prefer the thickness of the one from Waitrose, but I prefer the flavor of the corn style burgers. I wouldn't be in a particular rush to buy this product again, but if I was to repurchase it, I would probably honestly just add my own sauce or something else on top of that before I went and I cooked it. I'd probably like marinade it in some barbecue sauce or something. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> The next meal that I'm going to be talking about is the shepherd's pie and asparagus that I had. I don't know what I've been doing wrong my entire life, but I feel like I have not experienced experienced, I'm so excited, experienced asparagus until I tasted the asparagus. Why can I not talk? Until I tasted the asparagus from Waitrose. It is so good. Compared to other shops, Waitrose's asparagus is like superior. It's just like the Beyonce of asparagus. Like other shops I feel like have offer much shorter asparagus and much less in the packet as well. Whereas I was not disappointed with the amount or the quality. But again, I don't shop like this every day. And so it's not like something that I feel like, oh, I'm really missing out on. But it's just a side note that I thought I would mention as well. Now actually talking about the star of the show, which was the shepherd's pie. I think when I had this meal, I had had a really big lunch. So I had half of what was supposed to be one person's meal. And along with the asparagus, I think it was just amazing. I put taste like health because it's one of those meals where you know when you want something that's really nutritious and you want something that feel like you're eating and doing good for your body. I feel like this is one of those meals. I just wish there was a little bit more flavor, more spice. I would just want someone to just go like that and you just sprinkle that little bit of extra seasoning on top of that shepherd's pie. I do think I would buy this again, but it would be one of those meals where you just chuck it in the freezer and you know, when you're really not feeling like you wanna cook, this would be that kind of meal. Even remember saying like, I can taste all the different vegetables and um, ingredients that are inside it and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. If that's something that you're looking for, maybe this could be something for you to try. The last meal that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is the veggie bolognese that I made. I will be putting up a separate video next week showing you how I made this veggie bolognese. But for now, I'm just going to be talking about the product. I really, really was surprised by this, but I really enjoyed it. Looking at it when I first bought it, I must have not been paying attention because I just looked at it and was like, yep, mince. And I thought it was actually soy chunks, but it actually turned out to be literally just like squashed beans and vegetables that had just been cut finely and squashed together to re mimic that kind of mince-like texture. And I really enjoyed that and I haven't seen anything else like this if you have seen something like this or similar to this please let me know in the comments below so if you have been watching this far into the video thank you so much for staying tuned we've only got a couple more products to review so the first thing that I want to talk about is the hummus that I ended up having on the Mexican rice usually a hummus I'm always plain but I thought I'd try a different kind of flavor this time someone needs to recommend it to you anyone who is watching because this hummus is so good. You know when chefs talk about like depth in flavor, this hummus had that. It was so like creamy and just like rich and like full of flavor and sweet and spicy. It was just doing all of the things at the same time in the most magical way. It was the most beautiful hummus I've ever tried, honestly. I really, really loved it and I'd actually be interested to try some of the other flavors that they offered because I saw it wasn't just one. The last, the final, this is it, this is the moment dried mango. Back when, you know, quarantine wasn't here and we could just fill our baskets with as much of as many items as we want. Listen, I was there in Lidl, in the snack aisle, ready to put in four, five, sometimes six packets of dried mango. I'm not joking, I love dried mango this much. In the clouds, in the heavens of dried mango is the Waitrose 
dried mango. It is exceptional. I've never honestly been more excited about a piece of fruit. It is so delicious, you guys. If you have not tried it, I'll wait. This is the first thing that I'm going to buy whenever it is that I return to Waitrose. I still have dreams about this dried mango. Genuine dreams. I loved it. I did buy a couple of fruits and vegetables and things, but I didn't really think that was worth reviewing, but I'll say it now. I do think that the quality of fruits and vegetables that I personally bought from Waitrose, I don't know about other waitros and other locations. Fruit and the vegetables, they were like fresh, juicy, delicious. There's definitely something to be said about the quality of the fruit and vegetables. Just a side note that I thought I would mention as well. So that is it for this week's video, you guys. I am so sorry again about the light change, but again, I just need to remember to transfer all my footage onto my computer and not half of it and I hope you guys still enjoyed this video and made sense of all my ramblings about Waitrose vegan food. Again, you do not have to shop at Waitrose if you are a vegan. This video was just here to show you the sort of different options that are available. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your evening or day or wherever you are and please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I'll see you next week Sunday. Bye!